Hey everyone, Joe here. Well, today I got on the gear review for you. Now, what we have today is a shampoo burning studio 21. Now I've been using burning studio, uh, for many, many years. And the latest version has a new few new features and stuff and improvements. And I've been using it and I quite like it. So I thought I'd do a review on it. But before we get started, check out this other wonderful product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Backup Pro 14 backs up your data and operating system automatically to all common storage types and cloud services. Always up to date backups take the fear out of hardware failure, OS issues, or malware infections. Don't miss my demo and review of Backup Pro 14. Plus, learn more and download your free trial by clicking the links in the description below. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Let's first start by checking out the new menu system that Burning Studio 21 has. Okay, so we got a new menu system. Now, they still have the older style, so if you prefer the one menu system on the side, click the little button here at the top, and you go back to the original, you know, which is still quite nice, and I actually still enjoy. However, if you want to check out the new ribbon style, it is up here. This seems to be the newer style that a lot of programs are going to, and it's nice that you have an option for it. Now, let's start out. I'm going to go over uh, this. I'm actually going to show you everything through the new menu uh, ribbon style. So we have a favorites here. Now, as you can see, it's already got two things that I've been used uh, the most that I was testing out and everything. And then we have burn data over here. Click on burn data. Let's see you have a few options. Before we start going through these, let's just click star new disk. Since that is one I actually do use a lot, it's just burning data. Uh, you know, straight photos and stuff, just straight to disk, you know, JPEGs, nothing fancy, just data, you know. Let me scroll back. And now if we go to favorites, we now have new disk as listed as one of the favorites. That's nice. So you can easily get to the, uh, probably most people probably use three, four things out of everything that they got here more than anything else. And they'll probably want to easily access those. So having that to be able to star those to show them as a favorite is a really nice feature. And of course, let's go back over to burn data. We have new disks, so you can burn any kind of data and stuff to it. Like I mentioned, burning your know, process JPEGs and stuff that I, uh, you know, after editing photos and stuff, put them all on a disk, count them to the client. A lot of clients still prefer to have stuff on disk. It's got a more of a uh, sentimental value, especially if somebody's got like an event or something going on. To hand them, like, you know, say like a DVD case with like a CD in it or a or DVD and hand that over to them that has more of a value to them than just hand them just a thumb drive even though the value that costs cheaper to hand them the disc and stuff because disc is so freaking cheap uh, it just seems like it has more of a value because it's a bigger item but anyway that's the whole philosophy for another video but anyway it's got new disc uh new disc for spanning so maybe if you have like a big project that say is like maybe you're using uh DVDs and it expands like say 10, 11 gigabyte. That means you're going to have to go at least three DVDs and you can uh, compress that, say, for example, in a zip file and you can drop it here and it will break each one of them up into, uh, to go over those three discs. And you can just pull those discs into another computer later on and it will reassemble them. Okay, a new disc with auto start. Maybe you have some that uh, maybe has like a menu system. I normally don't use this one, but I have used it in the past. Uh, for example, if you want to like have your own little menus come up or like, you know, thanking the customer for using the product when he pops it into a, a computer. Now, the auto start is for a computer. It won't auto start if you put it in a DVD player for menu system. But a lot of times they'll uh, pop up a little uh, HTML you know, page or whatever, you know, thanking, you know, showing when they get additional stuff, you know, promotions, stuff of that nature. Then you have new encrypted disk, which is really good in case those are nude photos. So yeah, you may want to encrypt those. Then we have scratch protection, uh, protected disk. Now, uh, scratch protected disk. Uh, I want to point out if you're going to create a, a scratch protected disk, you can't just grab like a disk that you've been using and that might get scratched up and bring it in and then fix it no no that do, that's not how this works what it does is when you creates a scratch protected disk it will put multiple copies of the data on the disk now when you put the disk in the system it may not see all the files 
to all the copies, it might just see just those one, uh, the base ones. But in case one of those sectors or parts of the disk gets scratched, it will then search and find the, uh, the rest of the data on another part of the disk, making it redundant. So this isn't something that would probably get used a lot, but it's something that you say you wanted to make sure didn't get lost. Maybe it's some very important files and you was going to have to give that disc around to people. And especially maybe the work environment. You don't want people coming back saying, Hey, my disc scratched up again. Can you burn another one? This will really, really help with that. No, the only catch is, uh, you won't be able to put as much on the disc since it will be redundant copies on the disc. You'll, you'll be limited with how much data you'll be able to put on the disc, each disc, but it does give you redundancy. So it's there in case somebody needs it. Now, of course, we got restore, scratch, protect the disk, and update disk. Update disk is in case, uh, for example, if you have not finalized a disk and you may want to go back and add more data stuff to it. Maybe you was uh, burned a disk and you didn't finalize it because when you finalize it, it's done. But maybe you haven't finalized the disk and you're still adding data and stuff to it. So yeah, so in case you burnt like some files and stuff over to a cd drive or not cd but dvd or you know cdr or disc and all of a sudden you're thinking to yourself hey forgot to put a file on that well you don't have to burn a new complete disc you can just come around and update it like i said the only caveat is if you have finalized disc it's no go like i said you know, one above it is restore scratch protected disc in case you want to restore one and also audio and music now we have create audio cd Yes, there are people who still like having audio CDs. And you can still buy audio CDs, <laughs> even though it seems a lot more people are going towards the more the MP3 route and your, your Apple Music or whatnot. But people still prefer CDs. I still got tons of my music backed up on CDs because that's a format that's not going nowhere for quite a while. Now below that, we have Create MP3 or Windows Media Audio Disk. Windows Media Audio, yeah. All right, now I'm not 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 saying nothing about any shampoo you know, putting Windows Media Audio. I'm just being more like anybody actually uses that. <laughs> but yeah, because MP3 is definitely still the way to go if you want comp uh, compressed, um, you know, music and stuff. Me personally, myself, I'd rather go with Flax, but oh, you know, each one has their own personal opinion. Anyway, copy music files to disk. You have that option. You have rip audio CD. So if you have a non copyright protected disk, you can put it in and pull you know nothing music and stuff off and save them. Then create car hi fi. This is something I want to show you here. It's pretty nice. You click on it, and you know a lot of times you get with like, these car radio system stuff. You go to put in a disk and it's like, eh, disk can't be read. You think what the heck? Well, this really helps with that, uh, especially if you want to make like, MP3s. Like I said, for example, the Acer here, Android Radio, does MP3s, M4As, Windows Media Audio, Flack, Waves, and good old uh, open source AUG, Verbis AUG. So anyway, you can create a uh, disk, and it will actually make sure that disk is more compatible with the radio, so you're less likely to put it in and get an error, read error on the disk, which is really, really nice. Like I said, they have quite a bit, a lot of Alpines here, Audis, you know, Beckers, Axions, you know, BMW, Chrysler, Chevrolets. So that way you can kind of walk, uh, you're having trouble getting your files and stuff to work. And it shows the ones that are approved and not approved to work. So it really helps you figure uh, narrow it down, figure it out. I really do like that they've inclu uh, included this. It's really nice. But yeah, like I said, I've actually, uh, you know, used this very helpful Do highly recommend it. Right, let's go back. All right. Then we have CD changer emulator or write audio files to USB drive with use of CD changer emulation software. Your audio files will automatically be converted to a format by the selected emulator profile to create additional profile support, uh, unlisted emulators and so if you want to knock a cd uh, changer and your type thing use that then we have mp3 player convert your audio files compatible formats now what this is going to do is 
some MP3 players may have restrictions on the bit rate and stuff that they can be uh, played at. This will just ensure that those are when you choose like the MP, uh, MP3 player, it will be compatible with it. Of course, you got personal CD player here, and I believe I checked on that one. Yeah, you got like generic one, you know, Phillips and stuff to make sure those formats supported. Yeah, we go. And let's we'll see, that's all ones for audio. Then we got out video and slideshow. Create movie or slideshow DVD. If you click on that, you can drop your files in. Do we have create movie, slideshow, Blu-ray, video DVD from a folder, and video Blu-ray disc from folder. And we have also video CD, which is very not used at all anymore, but it's still supported just in case. And super video CD. Those were rock really big back in the 2000s and stuff, especially when I was overseas and stuff. You can find a lot of those. But anyway, I guess we've got Blu-ray and DVDs now. And so if you want to you know, put stuff on Blu-ray, it's very handy. Then we have covers and inlays. So if you want to create covers and inlays for those files, and I'll pull up one here to show you. All right, we can choose what you want. Say I want a DVD case or I want a Blu-ray case. So get to choose DVD because I like the DVD cases and just choose a sheet type. Also choose disc. Now you can also go over here, hit the plus sign, hunt down an image on your computer that you already got helpful. For example, like myself, well, I can just pull up like a photo or, you know, something from, from an event, put on the disc. Perfect. And also same for this disc. However, you don't have to, if you don't want to select those yet, just click on next. And it can pull up the data and stuff on it. Just click next. And we can actually choose here. Let me choose like a love. <laughs> and you can see it trips uh, a little template for you. You can go through, you can uh, you know, edit each one of these. If you want to choose lights, you can perform duration. You know, that's pretty nice. Is it very handy, very, very helpful. So let's close this one right here and go back. Hmm. Save changes. Nah. You can save changes if you want to come back to it later. Then, of course, we got copy disk. Now, of course, this is not, you know, I already got a blank disk in there, so it's going to keep arguing with me. <laughs> but anyway, uh, copy disk won't copy, uh, you know, write protected, obviously. Copy protect disk won't be able to do that. But if you got like this and stuff, Work for example, like I said, you created some to an event, and you need to make like ten or twelve copies. You can do that, and create a modified copy of an existing disc. Maybe you got a disc, you want to make a few changes to it. You got that option. Disc image, which is still very, very handy, believe it or not. A lot of times you can still go out now and still download ISO copies. For example, like for Linux and stuff, and since Windows is actually getting so big now, but yeah, you can still. Uh, Put this bootable DV uh, Blu-ray disc. And, you know, if you want to put Windows on it, you can put a uh, burn uh, image over to the disc and boot off that disc. If you still got a DVD or CD drive, obviously, I still do. Obviously, <laughs> so you got the uh, burn image, create image, or browse images. Backups, another really great option here. For example, if you got files and stuff, and you're not really big on what backup software, you can just use this as for backup software and this will actually let you take files for example let me click on backup files here i can choose the files that i want to back up like my vlc playlist here i can click that folder choose all those and i can click next and choose where i want to put them you know record them you know, the backup to the cd dvds or blu-ray disc i can click on that if i want to and I, since i do have one in there it will let me back it up I'll just click next and it will copy those files over. Okay. Now we also have the option to manage backups, backup external devices. For example, like thumb drives as shown and backup a USB disc and also backup cell phones. So if you have cell phone data and stuff, you don't want to lose, you can back up all that information and stuff. And advanced functions, we have a lot of advanced functions, create data using advanced settings, erase uh, rewritable disk, 
finalized disc. Like I mentioned, if you're having trouble actually after a disc you've burned, you didn't finalize it, you can easily put this in here and click on finalize disc and finalize it because it will make the disc much more uh, compatible with a lot of you know other disc uh, players and stuff, especially older ones that just play disc. Then there also are those weird you know drives sometimes in factory built computers that just won't read some odd disc. Maybe it doesn't like Philips disc or Sony disc or verbatim or whatnot, and this just very finicky. Often finalizing the disc will help solve that issue. And of course, you can create projects and stuff. And we have services that you can go through and check out you know, your license. Browse more A Shampoo software, like I mentioned earlier, to check out uh, Backup Pro 14. It's a wonderful software that I use every day. And of course, favorites again. And that's how the new, like the new menu system looks. Okay, everyone. Well, my final thoughts on A Shampoo Burning Studio 21. And uh, it is likely the best media creation tool out there on the market. So if you're still looking for some good software to help you burn, you know, your DVDs, Blu-ray discs, CDs even, and do a few more extra things, it is the software that I highly recommend. And of course, I am also an affiliate with A Shampoo. So if you're interested in Burning Studio 21, do check out links down in the description below for a... Uh, you know, the affiliate link and stuff to it. That way, you, if you want to test it out, try it out, free trial, download it for free and try it out. If you like it, you purchase it. And anyway, uh, like I said, I've been using it for years. I'm going to continue using it until nobody else wants disc anymore. <laughs> and uh, I highly do recommend it. So, anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, this video review, this product, give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up so it's highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. Let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.